how crazy is it to find three products in each makeup category and find the very best of what you love now not only is it crazy to do that but all the other women that i saw do that they did it in higher and a few drugstore thrown in there i'm going to do all drugstore for you guys today hi my friends this video was started out by julia adams she's a makeup artist here on youtube i will link her video below i also saw jamie page and kathleen lights do this and then two of my friends did it tamara's timeless beauty and uh, lisa monique did it and so i'll list all of those gals videos down below so that you can check those out really fun to be able to see all of their picks for me since i love drugstore and it's my thing i'm always looking for drugstore good drugstore makeup i just thought it would be so much fun to be dedicated to drugstore in this so let's just start out with how we go on our face and do our makeup so the first one's no surprise a lot of people love this i've loved it it's the elf poreless putty primer i'm almost out of mine it just acts so nice on the skin as far as filling in those pores and helping the skin to look so much more refined and I just have loved it ever since they brought it out and I just think it's a great one and then the NYX this one is the one that came out this year this is the marshmallow primer now I will tell you that these are my current favorites I should say that because that's what the gals were talking about on their videos just because we've talked about we love something something in the past doesn't mean that we don't still love it it's just really hard to find three that you're really into right now and that you really love so this marshmallow primer from nyx though i think that i almost like it better right now in the summertime when it's a little bit hot and humid than i do the elf one because it's a little bit lighter it comes out just looking just like it says like it's a you know really fluffy marshmallow type thing if you're adverse to fragrance you won't like this it does have a very marshmallow vanilla fragrance to it it doesn't stick around i don't feel like it does it has affected my skin at all but i really love how this just fills in the pores just gives me that beautiful slip to my skin without being too slippery like some silicone primers can be and it has this nice hydrating property to it as well and i love that about it too and then also one that came out this year i think it might have come out the end of last year but this one i'm in love with as well and this is the celestial i need to get my glasses for this okay it says super it's from flower beauty i didn't say that so flower beauty supernova celestial priming whip I love this because it does have all those properties in it, but it's super duper light. Now it comes out like a mousse and it has a very nice property in it of giving an illumination to your skin. I'll mix this one with the NYX Marshmallow Primer and I feel like it's just perfect because it has the right amount of glow and then the right amount of hydration slash pore refining and primer also is great to create that barrier between our moisturizer and our foundation so our foundation doesn't just slip off during the day so i feel like all three of those do a great job all right i couldn't find three color correctors that i'm super like in love with at the drugstore i mean my very favorite is pixie you all know that if you've watched any tutorial so the pixie one is the one i use if i was going to pick another one out it would be the nyx little palette i just didn't bring that over here with me so if you want one that has a lot of colors in it, try the NYX one. It's a very creamy formula as well. And then we're going to move on to foundations. I'll just get this one out of the way because you all know I love this. I rave about it over and over again. So I'm not going to take a lot of time here. It's the number seven lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation. It has an SPF of 15 and it says it's suitable for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin. However, I do love this. I adore that this has a serum in it. It has all of those wonderful skin loving benefits in it. But at the same time, you're getting this amazing, gorgeous foundation. I've talked and talked and talked about it. This is a very skin like foundation. It doesn't show up any texture. It's very long wearing for me and it just makes my skin. Sorry about the dog barking in the background. It just makes my skin 
look look like skin instead of looking more like I've got makeup on. I love this. And the same thing goes for the latest one from Catrice, and this is the True Skin Hydrating Foundation, and this has hyaluronic acid in it, and it says that it's long wear. I love that this is hydrating. In the winter time, my skin loves this foundation. Even right now, if I feel like I'm having a dry day, this is the foundation that I reach for. I do have to mix it because all of these foundations are a little bit light for me because I wasn't doing any self tanning then. I will list what the colors are down below, but just know that I'm not really in those colors right now because I'm mixing a little bit to make them a little bit darker. But this one, because it says it's true skin, it really does look like skin. And that's what I look for in a foundation. I would say that this one um, from number seven is more of a medium buildable foundation. This one is more of a medium high coverage foundation and it just looks so good for being that kind of a foundation, but it also keeps you hydrated throughout the day without drying down that skin. I think it's just fantastic. They actually both act a lot like each other to me although i do feel like this one is a little bit more illuminating and a little bit more i don't know just looks a little bit brighter and a little bit more glowy with the number seven and then the last one i have now i'm going to get some controversy about this because there's a lot of people that feel like the sephora collection is not drugstore i get you it's a little bit more expensive this bottle is twenty dollars however the this one right here at target itself is like sixteen dollars so we're not very far off and i know that there's some l'oreal foundations that are even more than that when you get them at ulta so i do love this you can get it on sale quite often if you're signed up for their mailers and especially in their app if you have that but this foundation for me has been so pretty I feel like it's very much like the the number seven one, but I do feel like this is a little bit more long wearing. It says that it's perfect, a perfect natural finish, long wear foundation plus anti-pollution, which means it's got a little bit of antioxidants in it too. But I absolutely love it and I love the way that it looks on my skin. It's what I have on today. It is mixed with a little bit darker of a foundation, but I use this as the base because it really does make my skin look so nice and even and i have dark spots and redness and all those things and all three of these foundations just make my skin look like it's a little bit more perfected and it just still shows through my skin which i think is great but at the same time i don't feel so self-conscious because my skin feels like it's a little bit more even it feels like it looks a little bit better so all three of those i just think are so so good now i don't have any concealer in here if you have been with me for a while, you know that I ditched concealers and I don't have any to really talk about because I personally don't feel like concealer looks good on my mature skin. So I don't really have any that I can recommend to you. Although there are a couple that I love, I'm not going to sit here and say that I use those anymore because I just don't. So sorry about that if you're a concealer gal. But what I do have is some really great powder. And I am not somebody that wears a lot of powder. I wear a teeny tiny amount just to set underneath my eyes and a little bit around my nose and in the fold right there by my chin. If I'm having a day when I feel like I have more texture, I will maybe lightly dust some through the pore area just to make my skin look a little bit more refined. Um, I talked very recently about this one from Can Make, which is the lavender powder. I got a lot of questions and a lot of feedback about this. I use this in my new technique that I have my video where I use the powder before the foundation. Kind of is the craze right now. I learned it a long time ago from Wayne Goss made a video about it went crazy and this is the powder that i've chosen to use now underneath my foundation because number one my skin is very sallow looking very dull looking this brightens it up now i'm going to tell you that if you're like from medium to deep skinned this probably won't work because it is a very light powder and it does lighten up quite a bit and it makes you look you know like you just have brightened your skin but if you're um, anywhere from medium to very fair like i am this is a great powder for really helping to brighten up your skin you can wear it after right 
right now i'm not wearing it after my makeup because um i am self tanning so my skin is a little bit got a little bit more color and this would just make it look a little bit too bright or too white but i love that and then the number seven this is their lift and luminate powder that i have talked about forever i felt like this was a dupe for the charlotte tilbury airbrush powder I like it better than that personally. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit more powdery. This one is a little bit more refined, a little bit more light and airy. I just feel like this one, it just performs better on mature skin. It might not be the greatest of, you know, somebody that likes it better that's younger, but my skin, it looks so much better than the Charlotte Tilbury on. And if you're somebody that does need powder because you really are oily or you need your makeup to stay in place longer, this is a great one. But I'll also tell you that I just recently have recommended the e.l.f. This is the Sheer Tint Hydrating Powder, and mine is in Fair Light. This particular powder I've been recommending um, instead of that Becca powder that I love so much because Becca's going out of business. This I've been using a lot. As you can tell, I've hit pan on it. This feels a little bit lighter than the number seven. So I'm kind of in an area here where can make feels, you know, like powder. I use it very sparingly, but the can make that lavender really helps brighten up everything. And then the lift and luminate just is a gorgeous blurring powder. This one is beautiful if I use it underneath my eyes. I always say very sparingly to a mature woman because I feel like powder is not necessarily something that everybody likes. But in the summertime, when I sweat underneath my eyes, I'm not gonna have any makeup there or I'm gonna have um, dark black spots for my mascara if I don't put a little bit of powder under there and sometimes need to even retouch through the day and those three are it for me. Very quickly, I actually wasn't going to do this but I wanted to make sure that I mentioned my primers that I love that are the glowy primers. I really like the Flower Beauty one that I showed you but there are like specific ones like the becca backlight priming filter that is so pretty but she's going out of business and so these three are ones that i really love the first one is the l'oreal true match lumi glotion this one is in the light color and then the physician's formula spotlight primer and then the makeup revolution fix a glow after glow primer this is so beautiful they are all beautiful this one i think is probably the most glowy and yes it is going on on top of that one that we just did from flower but you're going to see how much more glowy it is even than the flower one look at that oh wow it just it if you have a very matte foundation and you mixed any of these in there you would love it i love the texture of all of these they're very similar but i think that the l'oreal is the least glowy and then we have the medium glowy from physicians formula and then the very glowy from makeup revolution so i do love all of them use them at different times maybe with different foundations depending on how those foundations look and i love the glow that they give the skin as far as setting sprays go, these probably won't be any surprise to you either, although one might be. The Bella Jade Setting Spray, this one is very mattifying and it helps to keep oil at bay during the day and it helps with sweating and all of that to keep your makeup in place. It's really good as far as helping also to melt any setting spray will be good to help melt any powder that you've used it just kind of all just melts together and makes your skin look very refined so this one uses green tea instead of any alcohol like maybe urban decay all-nighter or Mo morphe continuous mist those all have alcohol in them and they work great but this one doesn't have any of that drying effects that the alcohol does it has does have the green tea which contains caffeine which will help dry out the oils as well i really love this one in the summer and then when i have those dry days that i was talking about the flower beauty seal the deal hydrating setting spray this probably has the best mist or sprayer on it that i have ever used it's so fine and i can put this on a million times and it just never looks like i've got little droplets or anything on my skin i love this my preferred way to put on these kinds of sprays is with a brush anymore which is something I've talked about a lot in my videos too. But this one will keep you hydrated throughout the day. There's no drying out of your skin. And then again with the Shake and Glow from L'Oreal Lumi, this one has those little tiny 
glowy particles in it. They're not um, glitter. They're not sparkle. It's just a very refined little particle in there that just makes your skin look so pretty. Now, some of these ones that are glowy, they have an oil in it. I don't believe that's what's in here. This one is just looks like it's got little particles in there. Don't quote me on that because I haven't read the ingredient deck on that and I'm sure I will when I'm editing this and I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. If you're going to be talking about contour slash bronzer, I definitely have those. Now, now, my oldest one that I've been using forever is from L'Oreal. This is the True Matte Bronze It. I've hit pan on this one. It's a huge pan. It's still going to last me forever. But this one is a very cool tone. Again, I reach for cool tones because my skin will look very orange if I don't. Plus this one is the light one and my skin is pretty light even when I am self tanning You can see that that looks like it's going to be a good one for me And I do really love this one. It has a tiny bit of a satin finish in it Not quite glowy just on the cusp there of uh, between satin and a little bit more glowy So that one's beautiful. The one that i'm wearing today is the milani. This one is sun kissed This is their silky matte bronzer I adore this bronzer. I use this the same reason that I use the L'Oreal because it is on the cool side. If you're not somebody that likes cool tones, they have, all these companies have other colors, go for it because these formulas are great. Uh, these are just happen to be the colors that I use. This one just goes on like a dream. It's matte and so I can wear my highlighters if I want to and not get too much glow and it still acts because it is that matte. It's going to not catch the light. It's going to kind of, you know, diffuse the light so I can use it as my contour slash bronzer and that's what I've done today up in my hairline, jawline and to carve out the cheekbones love this stuff and then if you're wanting to talk about something that is really close to the sephora second chance that would be the essence contouring duo palette this one is for um lighter skin and i think there's one for deeper skin and these are so good i love the feel of these powders super buttery and i yeah, this one, it's very saturated. I feel like that one's probably the most saturated. So be a little bit careful if you are lighter skin, like right there, you can tell that it's the deepest one probably on here. And if I swatched it again, it would be even more deep. I will swirl between the two if I'm using it when I'm not self tanning, but yeah, this is a great one in that it does again and do that contouring if you need it to But you can use it for your bronzer and i've been reaching for all three of these all summer So those are my favorite bronzers now. We'll talk about blush I have all of a sudden just become a blush fiend. I am collecting blushes like no other. I don't need another blush, but I have really <laughs> become into blush. And I am trying so many from the drugstore. This one from CoverGirl, the True Blend. I think this one came out like a year and a half ago as well. I love this one because this is extremely saturated and I love this color. What is this color? It is Love Me. The color for me is such a perfect color because it's this bright pink for the summertime right now i'm in love with a bright pink blush i just think that they just give your skin so much life and this one has a silky texture to it it seems to grip my skin all day long and i really like it and it is a matte blush but it's just what a pretty pretty color it's not quite that blue pink and it's not quite a coral pink it's just a beautiful in-between color now a really super bright one that i love is from milani everybody talks about their baked blushes there's a reason they are that good they have that little bit of luminescence to them i have a brush i'm going to try this on for you guys just a little bit it has almost close to the same color but this one is not quite as saturated as the one from CoverGirl. so you can build this up and and you don't need to use any sort of highlighter if you don't want to I'm just going to put a little bit of it on and show you just a tiny bit this brush I've had forever. It's from real techniques. I don't even remember when this came out It's just a pretty pretty blush in how it just brightens up. I'm really into these brighter pink blushes right now I just think that they they just do something so pretty for the skin in summer And I know that they have the coral one So if you like corals better the luminoso is beautiful on that one now If i'm gonna be honest and i'm reaching for what I feel like is going to make my mature skin look the best as far as blush It's gonna be a super shock blush from ColourPop. 
they came out with this when I started my channel. They had can't they had come out with the Super Shock Shadows blush followed then highlighter. This one has been out ever since the beginning between the sheets. You can see I've hit pan on it. I reach for this because it has that moussey creamy formula that goes across the skin blends so nicely you can blend it with finger a stipple brush you can use a sponge whatever you feel like and it has the prettiest medium like nude pink color to it it's just so beautiful and it just goes with just about any eye look that i put on or any lip that i put on it's just really really pretty i really like it a lot and this is the color that I've had and I reach for over and over again and that I've had a couple of. Make sure you keep your lid on really tight. It is that creamy, moussey formula and it will dry out. Now, I will say that if mine dry out, I continue to use them. It doesn't bother me, but some people feel like if it dries out, it's no good anymore. But I do love this blush. It's so beautiful. It clings to the skin. And like I said, it's that cream to powder formula that just lasts all day long. It's just so pretty. So those are my blush favorites. I think that one of these are going to be a surprise to you but the others aren't because i do talk about them all the time flower beauty has this highlighting trio that i adore because you can get all of the colors that everybody needs whether it is the golden highlighter the the champagne one or the pinky highlighter you have all of them so you don't need to go for any other highlighters if you don't want to and each of them, when they're mixed together, they look gorgeous, but by themselves, they're absolutely beautiful and beaming. And I'm just going to put them on top of those blushes and you can see, wow, they're so pretty. And they just, for me, I have never had a high-end highlighter that acted as nice as this one, as far as if it's a very powdery formula, as far as a baked formula. Oh my goodness. I have been talking about this. Look, I've got highlighter all over it. I've been talking about this ever since my channel started. I continue to talk about this highlighter. It is very inexpensive from Wet n Wild. These are the two Reflect highlighter palettes, they call them. I think because the pan was so huge, it's a baked highlighter. You can see all the colors swirled in there. They do have a golden one. This one is called, um, I'll have a Cosmo. The golden one is called Boozy Brunch. This is the highlighter for me. I, because of my mature skin and I wear my highlighters underneath my blush, but this one just really, uh, when I found it, it was like, I mean, this was before the highlighter craze. So I was like on board as soon as all the highlighters started coming out. But I always go back to this one because it doesn't matter what I do with this one. It will never show up texture on me. And I love it. And there's just something about it. There's no, and actually you're going to find that in all of these highlighters, no little teeny sparkle particles, no glitter, doesn't show up any texture. The feel of these are just buttery and smooth and the key to me to wearing highlighters when you're a mature woman is wear it underneath your blush wear it underneath your foundation i know that sounds counterintuitive but if you are somebody that likes that powder technique that i talked about put a little bit of this on with your powder underneath your foundation you're going to have your skin looking super glowy and dewy and it's so pretty the last one is one that i got i think Koki came out with this about three years ago, and this is their cream formula. I'm not exactly sure what this one is because it is kind of, oh, it says rosy. I can see that now. It was kind of smudged out, so I'm like, I don't think I could see that, but I did see it. This one has that creamy texture to it. It just, oh my word, it just is so pretty on anybody's skin. They do have the gold one, and they do have the champagne one or the lighter one. But, oh my goodness, look at my hand. <laughs> That's a beaming, beautiful disco ball going on there. This is the one right here. Even if you wanted to wear this on top of your blush, I think that you would be fine. This is all the ones that I've just been playing with that I'm dotting across my skin here. But I just think that highlighter is something that just really brightens the face. And if it's strategically placed, it can look so beautiful. Even if you're a mature woman and you feel like I've, you have too much texture for it, which is how I started out. Now we're going to talk about eyes a little bit. Let's go throw way back. This is a palette that I just got a new one of because my old one had broken and from wet and wild when they came out with their five pen palettes 
I feel like they missed the mark when they did reproduced Petalette because this one, the quad that they came out with so many years ago in Petalette is perfection. I adore this palette the deep color in here the plum color in here then the lighter plum that's kind of a taupey mauvey color this right here this one that is the pink one that goes on the lid it says eyelid on it that is an amazing color for your eyelid that doesn't show up any crinkles on my eyelid and it's just so pretty and then this one right here is for the brow bone that's probably the one i use the least but this makes the gorgeous mauve plum look on your eyes. I, I I love this. I reached for it over and over and over again. I have a lot of palettes that I love and I that I adore, but this little one that are is the quad I really like. And this made me go back through Amazon and start picking up some of their quads because I think that quad formula is better than what they have out right now and what they've redone. This one from Petalette that is called Petalette Wet and Wild knocked it out of the park and I wish they'd go back and knock it one more time and keep using this. All right, this is no surprise to any of you. The LA Girl formula that they use in their 16 pan palettes and then in this nine pan palette, it is really great. I love this one. And this one is more of the cool tones. I was drawn to it immediately. These are the Keep It Playful and the nine panned ones. And this one is called Downplay. I love these two colors right here for the eyelid. This silver right here is just amazing. I am out of places to swatch stuff. That silver, oh my word, look at that. Holy cow. You put any of these on, the mattes are super buttery, extremely blendable. I mean, I'm talking probably the best matte formula this side of Viseart, and I love Viseart, but I love this matte formula as well. Just so good. I do own just about every one the LA Girl has made in the 16 pan and now the 9 pan. I, I'm always like on it because I love these. I think they're next level. If you are somebody that has struggled with eyeshadow looking patchy or anything, I think you'll adore that. Now what I have on my eyes today is from BH Cosmetics, which I love too. And this is their blueberry palette, blueberry muffin palette. I really like this palette. It has been so much fun for me to play with. This one does have a mirror in it. Um, the other two obviously didn't, but this one, it has the blues in it, which I do like using a tiny bit of blue just before I deepen up the outer V, just for a little bit of an accent. And then I actually did use, no, I used this one right here, just a tiny, tiny bit underneath my eyes today and then blended it up. And then I used this one right here over across my lids. They're so pretty on. And again, I feel like these little 16 pan ones that they have done, the ones that have the city names on them or the country names on them, like I have Smitten in Switzerland, which is really great too. But this blueberry one, I just think is so great as far as just my jam in the color scheme. And I really think BH Cosmetics is underrated as far as their eyeshadow formula goes. So if you're at Ulta and you get a chance to pick up something, you might want to try one of theirs. They're really good. So that was my eyeshadow products. This is my eyebrow products. This was really easy for me too. The NYX Micro Brow in Ash Brown is what I use. I This little tip is so fine and so little and because my hands shake it's so easy to go up in my brows and just you know not make a big mistake because when you're using a thicker one you do make mistakes. I do like a pomade in the pots. I love the one from Maybelline, but on days when my hands are shaky, this is what this is my go-to. I mean, I bought several of these over again and it just fits the bill beautiful color that goes so good with my ashy roots and so it goes it's a really good color for my natural color and it, it goes really well with my complexion and then from essence this is the make me brow and i don't know what color this one is this is the ashy browns one and i like this one too because when i'm on the run and i just want something that i can just brush through my existing brows to make them look a little bit better that i can use this one it's a little bit more juicy than the elf give me brow i think it's is it give me brow wow brow give me brow is somebody else so this one really works well as far as that teeny tiny little spoolie and when i'm on the run just you know doing a tiny bit just to make me look like i don't have any eyebrows at all i like this one to just fill in what i do have and then if you're looking for something to get your eyebrows to stay and not move anywhere it is the glue 
the brow glue from NYX. This is so good. It is just like glue. It, it comes off fine. It's not really like a glue, but it holds like a glue throughout the day. And it is so good to hold. I have random hairs that point straight down on this particular eyebrow on this side. And this one holds them up all day long. So gotta love that. Eyeliner, this was a fairly easy one as well. The one that I love the most that is the black liquid liner, pen liner that I use all the time is from elf and it's their h2o formula love that i use it all the time i just couldn't find it i think it's in my car and then milani has some that you can really kind of only find on their website nowadays and it's their stay put eyeliners this one is in sapphire these are so good i love these they also have a metallic formula on their website that i think they're trying to kind of discontinue but wow the saturation and how good these cling to the eyes are so good and i've been loving playing with those in the summer and their beautiful colors and then the nyx epic liner oh my goodness these came out not very long ago but I love these because they are that gel-like formula, but these remind me of the Marc Jacobs highliners because of how good they last. I plan on getting more of these colors because I've been enjoying this during the summer too. Put in a little bit on my bottom lash line, smudging it out, and it's there until I take it off at night. So I really like that. I can't really speak to how good these are in the waterline because I haven't tried them yet. I should, but I haven't tried them yet. This one from Milani, it, it lasts a good two, two and a half, three hours. And that's saying a lot because in my waterline, the way my eyes water, it's not going to stay all day. I try to be realistic with that so i do love those now mascara i do have two mascaras that i really love that i don't have right now but i have used up in the summer and i actually just tossed them but before the, this video started to circulate i love the covergirl exhibitionist i feel like it's a better version of the Too faced better than sex one it's just so much better i i like it so much better than that one i feel like it doesn't like flake like that one does from Too Faced. I love it so much. And then the other one that I really, really like is the new Sky High from Maybelline. I feel like that gives me the most beautiful separated lashes that just look fantastic. And then this one that I did a whole video on, and this is actually my second tube of this one. It's from Essence. It's their 20 Forever Bold Volume Mascara. I do love the princess ones, but I feel like the princess ones, unless I get the waterproof one, can flake on me just a little bit and they dry out a little bit too quickly. But this one, whoa, baby. This one, if you watch that video, which I will try to link, it just makes my lashes really voluminous. They separate. They are super long. They look great. I am wearing this one today, by the way, so that you can see what it's done to my lashes. Love this stuff so, so much. Now on to the last thing, which is the lips. I know this is a long video, but how much fun is it to hear all of this stuff? It was for me for the other gals. Okay. From Rimmel, this is one of their um, lip liners. I used to love these. I actually not used to love these. This is the one that I have on, and I think it's Addiction. It's been rubbed off. I'll look for it again but this is just a great one for just being like a very deepened muted rose color and i love it and then these ones from koki cosmetics are a gel formula this one is called plum purple and this one is a beautiful formula now i do feel like any of these that i'm showing you you can use as a lipstick this one is pink something rosy pink and you can use these as a lipstick all of these will help keep your lipstick if you wear extra lipstick it'll help keep it from not bleeding i do find that koki does that really well and the rimmel does that really well and then this one from essence i like because this one is an automatic it really goes across the lips very easily it glides but it stays and this one is called keep receipts and i just love all of these they're so good these are the ones that i usually have in my purse There are no fails and then as if we're talking about lipsticks a couple of these again the rimmel one is an og one and that is in soft hearted i've been using soft hearted for years and years and when this video started i'm like well that's one that's definitely going to come out of my purse and i'm going to show everybody very muted almost like a lilac -y color rose color love that one creamy texture all of these are creamy they're not matte and then one that i've had i can't even tell you how long i've had this one this is warm me up i feel like warm me up is a rose that just about any woman can wear whether you love the cool tone warm tones cool tones whichever you love this one kind of sits in the middle 
and when I put this on, I'll put a little bit of it on right now. When I put this on, I feel like it just looks like my lips, but better type thing. And I've seen other women put it on and it just does the same thing for them. Not necessarily looking like the same color. I hope that makes sense. It's just very versatile is what I'm trying to say. It's beautiful. And then if I want a pop of wow, I love this formula anyway, the petal pout lipsticks from flower, but Dahlia desire this color and I guess it's supposed to be a Dahlia color, but this color, if I want something and I'm just going to go, okay, I want to, you know, stand out in the crowd, type lips, this is the color that I reach for. It just, it's so flattering on my skin tone, and these lipsticks from them are, well, I feel like all three of these lipsticks are nothing less than high-end lipsticks, and they're absolutely gorgeous and beautiful lastly i have gloss and i am an 80s girl lip gloss fiend i love it and these are them and i'm going to show you these two that will be no surprise whatsoever and that is the lifter gloss from maybelline in pearl i've loved this for such a long time it it just has a pearl reflect to it that it feels very pillowy on your on your lips i love that about it it's it is it's really really pretty any of these from them it, it doesn't ever feel like my lips are getting dried out with this gloss sometimes gloss can do that i will say a lot of people don't like a gloss feel on their lips that sticky tacky i don't feel like these are sticky or tacky but they do feel like a gloss they're heavy like a gloss just so you know that they're not balm like and then the keep it full in moonlight which is from milani same thing on the way that this looks on other things it just gives a lightness to it and a reflect to it now none of these have glitter particles in them they're more just like a metallic sheen but this these two can go on top of any lipstick and just give your lips so much juicy life to them i love both of those and then i recently picked up another one i had this years ago and i completely forgot about how gorgeous these are the shine 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 wet look lip gloss from essence these are incredible incredibly incredibly beautiful i have been wearing this coral which i don't wear coral at all but i will take one of those liners that i just showed you and i will put this coral on with it and mix the two together and that makes the prettiest lipstick lip gloss slash color <laughs> in my lips and i've been absolutely adoring that i'm so glad that i got that coral color to do that with you know there is one from city beauty that i got sent that's called san diego that reminds me very much of this but that's $30 and I think this is four or five. So, you know, drugstore hit it out of the park as far as if you're on a budget and you're pinching your pennies for sure. Wow, I feel like I've talked for a really long time, but this video was so much fun for me to make for you. Are there any of these products that you have tried that you fell in love with as well? And are there something in any of these categories from the drugstore that you love even more than what I've mentioned here today. I'm sure there are, but I love to hear from you guys and I love to be able to try things that you guys recommend to me as much as I recommend things to you guys because I found some really fabulous things. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your day with me today. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, and staying cool if you are in the heat. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye my friends. Hi my friends. This video was started out by uh, I do this every darn time.